Are people lying to pollsters? Voters in the United Kingdom told pollsters they were going to vote to stay in the EU, and they didn't. They lied. Not the first time that's happened. In America, back in the day, Tom Bradley, mayor of Los Angeles, he was African-American. People told pollsters, I'm going to vote for Tom Bradley. They lied. They voted for the white guy, George Duke Majin. They called him the Tom Bradley factor. Could that be happening with Donald Trump? Could people say, I'm too embarrassed to admit to my friends or to pollsters or to the public that I'm voting for Trump, but secretly, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. Could that be happening here? I had Roger Stone on the show, a former Nixon aide and friend of Trump. I said, look, uh, Trump needs first-time voters to win this in the fall because Hillary's ahead in conventional polling. He goes, well, he had a record number of first-time voters in the primary. I said, yeah, but Charles Franklin of Marquette says they are not first-time voters in November elections, just in primaries. He goes, yeah, but you never knew they were going to come out there, did you? I said, well, over 50 percent of the people who don't vote half the people who don't vote, what percentage of those people could Trump get? And Stone said, oh, 25 percent. Really? That's about 20 million votes. I mean, Nixon beat McGovern by 16 million votes in 72. I mean, that's very shocking to contemplate. It probably won't happen. There's no basis to think it will based on the data. But in Florida, Trump had 350,000 more votes than Romney had in 12 in a smaller field. And that's when Romney knocked Gingrich out of the race. One-on-one -on -one in Indiana between Cruz and Trump, they all said, well, it's one-on-one, -on -one, Trump can't win. Trump crushed Cruz in Indiana, pretty much locked up the nomination. There could be something going on. People lying to pollsters and a nationalism, a nativism, call it what you want, that may be percolating to the top. Trumpism is part of what happened with Brexit. How much of it could happen here? I don't know. Those are my two minutes. My two cents are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.